So I got the, I don't even know what these are called, purple, the purple ones, and small, and I got the all black flex leggings. So both are size small, we'll see how they fit. Material feels pretty good. They seem like they're gonna be thick. We'll see. Give these guys a try on. I'm totally wearing something else, but when you get new stuff, you gotta change it up. Hello, my beautiful fitness people. So today I am going to be doing a updated Gymshark review. So for starters, my last purchase, I got this lovely little green t-shirt. And it is probably the only thing from my last order that I actually enjoy wearing. because It's super comfy, it's long, or you can tie it up and it's lovely. But as you can see, I got some new flex leggings. So I finally was able to get in on the order. Peer pressure got in on the order to get some of the new flex leggings. So I got the purple merle ones in a size small, which are the ones I'm wearing today. These guys, which I am super impressed with. And yeah, they're awesome. I really like them a lot. They're super comfy. Only thing is that you have to pull them up a lot. So they have this nice little uh, waistband on them, which I enjoy. And when they sit up here, it's, it's good. I like it. But a lot of times they start to slide down and then it's not the best, but all in all, really like the purple color because A, they are not see-through, right? You can not see anything that's going on here, which is good. Um, I got the black pair and you will see shortly that is not the case with the black pair. Black pair are see-through. Do not buy the black pair, anyone, okay? Purple, cool, black, not so good. All right, stay tuned, I'll show you the next pair. All right guys, so let's talk about the black Gymshark Flex Leggings. Now, these ones, I do have to say that I am a pretty big fan overall of the color and the fit. They did feel a little bit more itchy than say the purple ones do, so they have like, a, it feels like it's a little bit of a different material. I'm not sure if it's just because it's a bit stiffer or what's really going on there, but all in all, I love the concept of the black leggings. But the unfortunate thing, as I showed you before, is that little kind of um, imprint on the inside of the pants, uh, which you can clearly see um, from the backside of the leggings. It really is unfortunate because otherwise the leggings, like, they're not see-through, like, you can't see your underwear or anything like that, but because this imprint on the inside of the pants is white and it's a thick material, thick white, you can straight up see that, like, it's... What's up guys? Welcome to the workout component of my video. So from today's workout, I really, really crushed my legs. I'm recording this voiceover two days later and I'm still so sore whenever I go to get up. It, uh, it definitely was a banger. Now in today's workout, the primary focus was to work on my sumo deadlifts as well as my uh, barbell squats. So two really great compound movements that allow you to gain size in your legs, glutes, as well as gaining some great low back and core strength. Now, I've been really working on my pulling strength for the last few months here, and something I'm really pumped with, I'm getting you know, pretty good at the movements, starting to look a little bit more weight, and feeling overall more confident with these movements. So, the main focus of this workout were my two compound lifts, which I did five sets of kind of that six to eight rep range where I was able to pull pretty heavy weight for the most part. Um, my main tip though is to start off any major compound lift with just the bar. You know, just starting off that 45 pound Olympic bar and then slowly working your way up in weight 
and also taking accurate rest periods. Now it's really important that you rest long enough in between your different sets, otherwise you'll never be able to pull as heavy as you could for that given rep range. Now a few tips for the sumos. So some cues you want to think about is uh, having those legs and that stance wider than hip width with toes slightly pointed out. And then what you want to imagine doing as you're coming up from the ground, you want to think about spreading the floor with your feet. That's going to create some great tension in your legs, in your glutes. Another big one for me is to make sure that I reset and engage my lats each set. And from the lateral view of this um, video, you'll see I really fire my lats back, drive my chest forward, uh, try and keep a nice neutral spine, pushing up and out of the floor. All right guys, so compound movement number two is going to be my barbell squats. First off, I started with a warm up with just the bar, 10 reps, just trying to get good depth and just trying to warm up the hips. I usually find it takes a few sets before my hips are fully warmed up and I'm ever able to hit the depth that I'd like to hip each rep. Uh, so I usually slowly increase that weight up, again taking that same kind of rest period of kind of one to two minutes depending on how much weight I'm using. And I really notice um, that I am able to get lower each set as I warm up. So maybe that's a tip you guys can use trying to make sure that you are fully warmed up before you just throw on the big weights. You'll give yourself to you know, lessen the chances of injuries and increase your overall squat output. So another great tip, it's something you can implement into your workouts, is taking more of an active break. So see me here performing some forward and lateral leg swings. Now I'm just trying to get that blood flowing through my legs, also just trying to loosen them up before I do my final set of squats where I'm going to lift as heavy as I can for this set. So for this set, I was hitting 135 pounds for six reps. And you can definitely tell that after that fifth set, I was struggling quite a bit to drive back up kind of caving in the upper back a little bit but overall I'm pretty impressed with those. The next thing I'm going to move into doing are bench split squats. Now since I went so heavy on my sumos and my barbell squats this is not an exercise where I'm trying to lift overly heavy it's more just trying to get a volume pump within the legs within the glutes and then I'm supersetting this with um, some bench squat jumps. Now bench squat jumps are really going to allow you to work on your explosivity as well as targeting your legs and your glutes. And I challenge you, you know, try doing some plyos after doing a weighted exercise. It's really, really, really gonna burn those legs out. Um, not only did I do that for the split squats, but you'll see me do that in a few other exercises here, including um, what I superset with my dumbbell step ups, which is gonna be these bench up and overs, where you're bounding up and over the bench as quickly as you can. So for my final super set of exercises, I performed barbell walking lunges for the length of the turf. I then supersetted those with two full laps with the sled, pushing a significant amount of weight. Now, these are great. You know, the first lap, you feel like, okay, I can do this. Second lap, you feel like you want to vomit. So if you're not in that stage, add a bit more weight or try sprinting a little bit harder and I'm sure you'll get. What's up guys? So just got back from the gym and definitely crushed my legs. I am pretty freaking sore. But I did want to update you guys because this was my first time wearing my purple Gymshark leggings to the gym and I did them on a leg, use them on a leg day. And I was pretty impressed because they stayed up really well. They didn't show sweat terribly and I didn't really overheat in them. So for me, those are three really big wins for those Gymshark leggings. Um, I wouldn't, however, wear my black ones because as I mentioned before, they do have that little patch that tells you 
on the inside of them, what size they are, what style of legging they are. And it just leaves like this little square on your butt that kind of like sticks out a bit more. And it's a bit more of a lighter color. So not a big fan of that. Um, but I'll show you guys that in a minute and that lighting was bad. So from here, quickly gonna change and then I'm going to walk over down to Sea to Sky Massage where I'm gonna be meeting with um, my massage therapist, Taryn, who's gonna continue to work on my shoulders. So my left shoulder's been giving me problems for quite some time, um, probably a few, quite a few years. Um, the only things that's really made it feel better are IMS or getting regular massages. So I've been working with this RMT for about a month now and it's kind of like every few weeks it just needs a little bit of a tune-up but whenever I go in it's not as bad as it was before. So that's really encouraging because it allows me to lift better so I'm able to do more you know, overhead presses, more bench presses, that kind of stuff without just constantly being in pain or just like knowing that my shoulder is more forward. So for me, my uh, humerus, it sits um, kind of forward in the shoulder joint. Um, so in that glenohumeral cavity and it's probably the most frustrating thing ever, but it's just because those muscles around it are just like so tight around that shoulder capsule that it just shifts it forward there. And um, yeah, it's a result of really, really tight pecs. And then alternatively, like the triceps tight pulling on it, the rear delts are tight pulling on it, the lats are super tight. So I got a lot going on in that shoulder. So I'm gonna go see her, get that all tuned up. And then later today, gonna go hike the Chief. So I'll take you guys along on that. And then we have the kind of final day of posing that we're gonna do with our two bikini clients before they go and compete next week in Kelowna in the Kelowna Classic. So that's kind of the outline for the day. I gotta get going. I have literally five minutes before I have to be at my massage. So gotta take the meek out and then I'm out. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go. <gasps> Look at those pretty eyes. You're so sweet, girl. You're so sweet. Oh, you want a belly rub. You always want a belly rub. Mika, out. Give us a high five. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to be closing this vlog off because I am exhausted. My legs are so dead from doing leg day, <laughs> then doing the chief. <laughs> and I am ready to take a bath. So I went to Lush the other day picked up this lovely little gold nugget <laughs> and I'm going to be popping this into a bath and chilling for the rest of the evening until, look at this, so many sparkles, it goes everywhere. Um, I'm just going to be taking it easy tonight, this is my first weekend off like all winter so pretty excited about that and yeah, see you later guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>